Welcome to Gay-Lussac's Law. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the relationship between pressure and temperature of gases. This relationship was first explored by Joseph Louis Gay-Lussac, and he was interested in studying the relationship between the pressure and temperature of a fixed volume of gas. He was able to conclude that the pressure of a gas was directly proportional to the temperature in kelvins. This relationship became known as Gay-Lussac's Law. And this law assumes that the amount of gas, the N, the moles of a gas, the amount of gas, and the volume are kept constant. So Gay-Lussac's law says that the pressure of a fixed volume of gas varies directly with the Kelvin temperature. Let's see an example of this relationship. Here I have an empty soda can with a little bit of water on it being heated up to a high temperature using this hot plate. I'm going to invert it quickly into some ice water and the temperature is going to rapidly drop. According to Gay-Lussac's law, that should drop the pressure inside as well, and let's see what happens. There we go, the soda can was crushed. Let's see if we can figure out what happened here. Here I have my soda can. Now there's going to be pressure on the outside of the soda can from standard atmospheric pressure. Pushing down on it. Now counteracting the pressure on the outside of the container are the air molecules on the inside of the container that are also pushing out at the same time. So we have a balance in the forces right now, a balance in the pressures. But what happens to the pressure on the inside when I drop the temperature drastically? Well, here we have the same can. It's experiencing the same forces on the outside from atmospheric pressure. But all of a sudden, the temperature inside dropped rapidly. And so now there's only very little pressure on the inside. So now you can see there's a huge imbalance in the forces, and all this pressure on the outside crushes the soda can, and that's why we saw that instantaneous crushing of the soda can when I put it in the cold ice bath. Now this explanation is in line with kinetic molecular theory. I lowered the temperature, which lowered the speed of the molecules inside. The speed of the molecules slowed down. That means there were less collisions and less pressure. Because there was less pressure on the inside of the container from all of those molecules slowing down, there was suddenly a relative imbalance in the pressure from the outside versus the inside. And the relatively larger outside atmospheric pressure instantly crushed the soda can when this happened. So that's how kinetic molecular theory can explain what just happened with these molecules inside the container when their temperature dropped. And we can also use Gay-Lussac's law mathematically. So here we have it written as an equation. P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. The initial pressure and temperature in a ratio should be the same ratio as the final pressure and the final temperature. We can use this to predict changes in either pressure or temperature, again assuming that volume and the amount of gas is held constant. This has to be true to use this equation. Here we have an example that would take advantage of Gay-Lussac's law. We have pressure and temperature as our two components of this problem. So we can use P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. Like before, the first thing I'm going to do is identify my variables. P1 is the initial pressure, 6.0 kPa. T1, my initial temperature, is 500 K, 500 Kelvin. What's going to happen when the temperature drops to 200 Kelvin? So that's T2, 200 Kelvin. And we want to know about pressure. So P2 is the variable I'm solving for. It's what I'm interested in finding out, what the final pressure is. So let's go ahead and plug some of this stuff in. 6.0 kPa is my P1. That's over T1, which is 500 Kelvin. That's equal to P2, which I'm interested in finding out over 200 Kelvin, the final temperature. Now according to the relationship, if temperature decreases, pressure should decrease as well. So whatever we calculate for P2 should make sense. We should be able to determine if that answer makes sense. So P2, if we go through the algebra, is 2.4 kPa. So the temperature went down, and it looks like, very clearly, the pressure went down as well. So this number makes sense. That wraps up our lesson on Gay-Lussac's Law. Write down any questions you have in your notes and bring them with you to class.